hello the undergraduate student who are watching this video most welcome i am dr sanjay kumar rai today is going to talk on the physiological variation of thyroid function during pregnancy as we know pregnancy is a physiological condition in other sense it can be said that pregnancy is a physiological variation where physiological variation occurs in the function of other organ system like endocrine and today i would like to talk on the variation in the function of thyroid gland during pregnancy for our easy description pregnancy can be classified as early pregnancy and late pregnancy early pregnancy means pregnancy up to 12 week of gestation and late pregnancy means the pregnancy after 12 weeks up to termination of pregnancy during early pregnancy as we know the trophoblastic cell of developing embryo produce human chorionic gonadotropin hormone that is hcg this hcg act the main function of hcg is to produce to stimulate the corpus luteum of the ovary to produce estrogen and progesterone estrogen means here the mainly estradiol and progesterone and this form estradiol and progesterone act to maintain the pregnancy in the early part of gestation so what are the function of estrogen and progesterone from the ovary during early part of pregnancy is to maintain the pregnancy on the other hand this hcg has another important function hcg is homologous try to understand hcg is homologous in function to thyroid stimulating hormone as we know the thyroid stimulating hormone coming from the anterior pituitary gland that act on the receptor present on the thyroid follicular cell to stimulate the formation of t3 and t4 during pregnancy the hcg human chorionic gonadotropin hormone just act like thyroid stimulating hormone on the thyroid stimulating hormone receptor present on the cell surface of thyroid follicular cell and stimulate the synthesis of t3 t4 just like tsh so during pregnancy early part of pregnancy due to function of hcg t3 t4 synthesis may be increased a little bit and as we know the t3 t4 has a negative impulse or negative feedback on the anterior pituitary gland so when t3 t4 level is increased in due in in, in response to hcg then tsh form synthesis by the anterior pituitary gland of course will be decrease so this is the physiological variation during early part of pregnancy what i would like to say that t3 t4 is increase a little bit on the other hand tsh synthesis is decrease a little bit so is it a hyperthyroidism or just physiological variation during early part of pregnancy so you have to think this that where t3 t4 is raised and tsh is decrease so is it hyperthyroidism or pregnancy variation so this is the first part variation of the first part during early pregnancy on the other hand uh, late part what occurs during late part actually during early part of the pregnancy beta hcg level sharply raised from the very beginning of the pregnancy and it reaches its peak around 8 week mind it around 8 week 8 and then it goes sharply down to a lower level around uh, 20 weeks 20 weeks and from the 20 weeks uh, onwards up to termination of pregnancy this lower level of hcg level is maintained so the hcg level is increased only during early part of pregnancy so this high level of hcg act on the thyroid gland to produce more and more t3 t4 but during the late part of pregnancy 
when the HCG level is come down to a lower level so it cannot act just like uh, before it did on the thyroid gland but the scenario or the problem is different here during late part of pregnancy there is two problem here number one the placenta actually the uh, estrogen and progesterone during late part of pregnancy is coming is uh, coming from or form uh, synthesized by the placenta solely placenta and early part by the corpus lutea mind it the true problem what I would like to say uh, during late part of pregnancy number one the placenta placenta has a metabolic function and a certain amount of T3 and T4 are metabolized by the placenta as we know the thyroid hormone T3 T4 in the circulation a maximum portion of the T3 T4 in the circulation is bound with a plasma protein that is called thyroxine binding globulin TBG this is the bound form the bound form of the thyroid hormone is inactive and the unbound that is free form is active during a late part of pregnancy the thyroxine binding globulin synthesis by the uh, hepatocyte that is liver is increased so higher level of thyroid thyroxine binding globulin will bind a higher amount of T3 T4 that means free amount of T3 T4 will be decreased this is the number of one problem and number two problem what I said already that the placenta can break down the T3 T4 as a part of its metabolic function so by these two process number one the more and more T3 T4 bound with TBG and thereby decrease level of free T3 T4 and number two more and more T3 T4 break down by the placenta so as a whole by these two process during late part of pregnancy free T3 T4 will be decreased I repeat again during late part of pregnancy free T3 T4 will be decreased so decreased T3 T4 level will give decrease level of negative impulse on the anterior pituitary gland so TSA is thyroid stimulating hormone produced by the anterior pituitary gland will be increased as because wh while we know T3 T4 decrease synthesis so TSA synthesis will be increased so this is the another uh, biochemical abnormality that is found invariably in the late part of pregnancy where T3 T4 goes down and TSH goes up T3 to 4 goes down and TSH goes up so is it a hypothyroidism or just a physiological variation that occurs during late part of pregnancy so this is the cream part of this uh, topic of this discussion a another cream part main part the early pregnancy where the biochemical evidence goes through with the hyperthyroidism so we have to think this very cautiously very clearly very closely is it hyperthyroidism while the patient is in early pregnancy and is it hypothyroidism while the patient is in a late pregnancy or uh, the hyper or hypothyroidism here is just nothing but a physiological variation so uh, the main another topic is ACG you have to mind it that ACG human chorionic gonadotropin hormone produced by the trophoblastic cell that is homologous that is homologous to the function of TSA so it is very uh, difficult very problematic to interpret the thyroid function that is TSA level as because there is another person just like as TSA that is ACG but as the ACC production is decreased very low level decrease very low level production at late part of pregnancy just about uh, after 16 week of gestation so there is no question of ACC so if there is any thyroid abnormality so we can say that this abnormality solely due to TSH or T3 T4 that is the organ system it is not that is not due to pregnancy related any other condition so ACG in the early part 
so TSH measurement what is the best time to measure the TSH during pregnancy the very clinical question very clinical question the what is the best time to measure TSH during pregnancy the question answer is just after or after at or after 16 weeks 16 weeks so this is the end of this video hope this video will help you if you think uh, this is helpful for you you may you may subscribe this channel for its existence thank you